everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're Dos Cavazos, and today we are watching the third episode of Moon Knight. So last episode we left off with Mark in Egypt searching for Amit's tomb. Yeah, we're on a rush now to get there before uh, Arthur. Uh, we were also introduced to Mr. Knight, you guys mm -hmm. told us in the comments. I'm just going to assume that Mr. Knight is mm -hmm. going to appear when Steven has control and he, you know, takes on the mm -hmm. suit and that'll be his iteration. Um, but with that being said, we did spend the majority of the first two episodes with Steven. I expect to spend a lot of time now with Mark, especially now as it seems like situation is getting a little bit more drastic and we're probably going to need his expertise. It's kind of a weird situation for Mark because Khonshu had alluded to the fact that he wants Layla as his replacement. Mm -hmm. um, so he's kind of between a rock and a hard place here. Yeah, we also found out that Arthur was, I guess, the predecessor mm -hmm. as well, too. Now, there's like a whole dynamic between Ahmet and Khonshu's, like, I guess, judgment styles, which we were kind of a preview to it, I guess, in the first mm -hmm. episode where we saw, like, Arthur put, like, the cane on there, even though, like, that woman had said, like, I hadn't done anything yet. We got confirmation that he judges, or I guess she judges, present, past, and future. I said that wrong, but regardless. <laughs> um, and uh, Conchu likes to judge people based off of like their actions yeah. and what they actually already do. All right, before we jump into this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our Patreon if you want to see our full length reaction to the series. We also do have a second channel, Dos Cavazos IRL, where we do vlogs and other non-reaction content. I actually just stayed up reading manga for the first time for 24 hours straight over there. If you want to check out that video, the link's down in the description below. All right, let's jump into this episode. And then I, uh, I found him with the scarab living 20 minutes from our old place. Who are you telling this to? What the? No, he's, uh, she going to he's Egypt? He's probably going to get himself killed running around She's Cairo. She's just spilling the tea to whoever? This is like a forgery though, right? Mm. I wonder what your father would think of his little scarab now. Mm. We'll never know. You think his dig sites were any place for a child? So he had found the scarab originally. Mm -hmm. I think he's still walking on glass. <laughs> probably. <laughs> to the desert. How do his feet not get infected? Mm. Oh, is it saying down go here? down? Oh. What's he running to or running from? Mm. Oh, trying to stop this? Oh shit. Too late. You killed him? I need to talk to that guy. Oh. Oh, what are we dancing? Are we fighting? What are we gonna do? <laughs> 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 That's what you, you get time for that. like fucking around trying to show you're tough licking a knife and you just get punched in the face. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh. Oh, oh Steven. Steven. Oh. This is a bad oh. time for this to happen right now though. What? Oh, he they lost switched. time. Yeah, it was Steven probably took over for a little yeah. bit. You are set the airport. Uh, he's trying to get him to leave. Mm. <laughs> he's trying to go home. <laughs> it's them. What did you tell him after? You're all cool now? <laughs> yeah. Or are they scared of him? What? What did he do? <laughs> what is that? Tell me, Mark. Oh, here, oh, we, go here we go. That's enough. Oh, oh, shit. oh, Steven. Oh, what? Then that was Steven who had to do it. Or was it? Oh my gosh. Is this is Mark? What did you do? Yeah. I swear it wasn't me. It wasn't. Do they have another altar? That just doesn't seem like something Steven would do, like, or be capable yeah. of. Like, I thought on. it would be like a situation where it was like yeah. life or death. He's just a kid. He'll talk. <gasps> Where's Harold? Oh my gosh. Praise Amit. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh my oh! gosh! Oh shit. Oh, mm. uh, he didn't talk. talk. What are you doing? Sending the gods a signal they can't ignore. Oh, the moon? Because isn't he like the moon god? I mean, moon knight. Yeah. <laughs> it's like making an eclipse. They're gathering their avatars now. Oh. They're scattered all over the world. Yes. Wow. The meeting of the Ennead, a portal presents itself anywhere. Okay, well, that's convenient. Last time I spoke to the gods, they banished me. Our case against Arrow must be indisputable. Wow, oh, the other ones. 
That's interesting. Conscious theatrix are unparalleled. You must be his avatar. I'm Yatsil, avatar of Hathor. Okay. Goddess of music and love. Has Conchu told you how this works? He didn't tell me nothing. <laughs> Three, you went here to do his bidding. You started an eclipse and said, go to the portal. <laughs> what the heck? In attendance, Horus, Isis, Tefnut, Osiris. Are they going to be speaking through them, maybe? Mm. To hear the account of Conchu. Okay, oh, so go. that's why I guess they're like the Avatar. You've been banished once for nearly exposing us, Conchu. Oh, that's why. So was it Conchu that, like, killed those guys? Did he take control of them? But manipulate the sky again, and we will imprison you in stone. Bear me your self-righteous threat! <laughs> I was banished for not abandoning humanity unlike the rest of Conchu's kind of sassy. <laughs> we have not abandoned humanity. They abandoned us. We simply trust our avatars to carry out our purposes without calling undue attention to ourselves. I call for judgment against Arthur Harrow! Charges? Conspiracy to release Amit! That is a heavy accusation, Honshu. I mean, he's over there doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's actively digging. Let us summon the accused. Okay, see, he said he knew he was going to get summoned. Watch him have something slick to say. Do you not seek to release Amit from her tomb? What's he going to say? I was in the desert. But if visiting the sands were a crime, oh, you lie. Uh, be longer than the night. You should be you judged by lying like that. Go, go to where he by was. By your logic. <laughs> Do not trust the word of a shamed god. No, Kanshu is unhinged and his servant unwell. This is a man who literally does not know his own name. No. Oh. Employment records under the name Stop. Stephen Grant. I've Aww. seen him speak to himself. Shut up! I, I have no idea how many. We're just gonna believe him. I mean, I know the he's like. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! You're gonna oh no! Prove his point. We will not tolerate violence in this chamber. But they just can't believe Arthur for his word. They're gonna need to go check the freaking Can desert. Can you feel like you know? It's because they don't trust Conchu. Are you unwell? Oh. Uh, I need help. Oh, Mark. But that doesn't change the fact that this this man is. He's literally doing everything he's saying he's doing. This is a safe space for you to tell us if you feel exploited by Conshu. This is not about my feelings. I'm not the one on trial here. He is. This is about how dangerous he is. If you would just listen for a second. He has committed no offense. No. <sighs> This matter is Can we use Amit's judgment? Yeah. <laughs> He's about to! <laughs> Mark, there is another <gasps> way. Amit was buried in secret, the location hidden even from the gods. Amit had many followers, they didn't know who to trust. But someone had to know something. One man, a Magi named Senfu, he was tasked with recording the location of the tomb in case the gods ever changed their minds and decided to show mercy. Find Senfu's sarcophagus and you'll find your tomb. Hmm. His sarcophagus was stolen and sold on the black market. You might want to start there. Hmm. So were the gods, like, alive at one point? Is that why she has a tomb? I mean, I feel like, yeah, because they're, like, they're just, like, using other people mm -hmm. to, like, observe now. I'm looking for Senfu's sarcophagus. Hmm. Senfu? What say you, Juice Man? Oh. Mm, back up. I hope you like attention. Right guy, right place, but you're not Egyptian. What the hell are you doing here? You should what? be here. Why? She should know about the black market, though. Mm-hmm. She probably knows where it is. Now, if I may ask, why such interest in Senfu in particular? Oh, actually, our purchases. I'm sorry, but I'd like to hear from your own. Mm. Mm. If you don't mind. Mm. I think, but I think I just would love to take a look. I don't know if he's going to take that for an answer. Please just let Stephen out before you blow this. Not a chance. Mm. All right, what do you see? Well, all I'm seeing is literature to guide. I feel like Stephen could help. I know he's like, he's like the obsessed one. with like Egyptian history. The unlocked. Oh. oh, there we go. Maybe you can help from this way. <laughs> will, you, will you give me a minute? I just have, I gotta talk to Stephen. Just what now? What now? What now <laughs> is you give me the body and you piss off. Mm -hmm. David, there's not time for this. He just needs a couple of minutes in there alone. He's yeah. Mm. He, he's praying. Mm -hmm. Sorry, if you expect my help, it's not going to be while I'm in prison. I'll take that first piece and fold it over the middle piece. This one? Yes, that one. Like this? Yeah. 
Wait a second. Now, if you match those stars up with the other piece over there, it should make a star change. Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh. 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 Don't. I mean, he pointed the gun at me first. Do you really think I'm an idiot? Get on your knees. And don't stop. Get on your knees. Get the suit. I was so ready to make peace with you. You don't understand. We're trying to save many lives. Take a look inside the sarcophagus. It appears we have a concerned third party here. Ah, oh, oh, shit. Crap. Arthur, fuck you. Sure I can <laughs> you something much more tangible. <sighs> ah. The sly tongue dude. Trying to stop us from reaching Please, a stop. He's gonna kill millions, trust me. There's no need to descend into violent accusations. You're the one who's violent. Uh, I'm tired of him talking his way out of yeah. everything. You keep thinking that distance will prevent the wounds from your father's murder from reopening. Oh, shit. Oh, murder. Who Husband murdered? Doesn't tell you the truth. Was it him? Oh, my gosh. You don't tell her. Was he one of the people that he murdered? Or killed? She'll see you exactly as you see yourself. As unworthy of love. Oh, my gosh. He may have. He's in the oh, six. there you go. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Buy me some time. I could do that. Oh, oh damn! Wow. He threw the bullets right back at him. Oh my gosh! Stop it! Stop it! No, no, Steven, Steven. I was out of time. No, Mark. Steven, they're kind of like attacking us right now. Like, give me the body, Mark. Oh, is he taking over? Yeah, he is. <gasps> oh, in his suit! <laughs> <You're all right>. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Time it goes out. to that. Time out. Time out. Guys. No, Steven, that doesn't work like that here. That's all just like chill the F out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, Steven! <laughs> oh, my oh, gosh! Give it back to Mark! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now he knows. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's standing with it. Oh my gosh. Well, he said he could heal, so. Oh, we need to go help Layla. <gasps> oh! It was a weapon. Oh my gosh. Dang. That's why Kanshu wants her. Oh. Okay, got her out the way. Oh! Oh! He might not have died though. What was Hara talking about? Mm. Mm. I feel like he killed her so dad. I, a right to know. I have no idea. Don't lie. I wonder if that was like the incident too, before mm. he had it under wraps, is what he said. So, right through me. I don't know. I don't and maybe that's why he had to leave her too, because he couldn't bear like looking at her mm. because he may have killed her father! I feel like we're putting it together. It's gonna take forever. Maybe Stephen can? Mark, we need Stephen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He understands all of this. I really think it's worth giving him a shot. <sighs> all right. Yeah, all right. he's gonna let him. Cheers, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's still becoming more civil about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, like he just like knows what to do. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. You see that? Oh. You see those little pinpricks there? That's a constellation. Oh. Not working. Yeah, yeah, you see, uh, Senfu, uh, Senfu marked that tomb like 2,000 years ago, and stars drift over time. Not much as far as stars go, but it can mean the difference between us searching miles and miles away from where we're supposed to be looking. So unless we know exactly what the sky looked like on that date, hmm. we're buggered. I remember that night. <gasps> oh. I remember every night. Wow. Okay, can't you? Well, that's helpful. <laughs> That you know stuff like that about the night. I was thinking we're gonna need a time machine. I know. It's gonna have to be another Avengers moment. <laughs> Watch him just like <laughs> do it. Can't you? I can turn back the night sky. Wow. It will come at a cost. What and cost? I cannot do it alone. When the gods imprison me, <gasps> tell Mark to free. So he's gonna get imprisoned for doing this. Cause they said like mm -hmm. don't cause he cause messed another already with the moon, issue like, like making that an again. eclipse. His <laughs> suit, I love that. Whoa. 
We're gonna go back like 2,000 years. Oh my god. What are people like looking up being like, Yeah, oh. they are. Am I gonna die? <laughs> you brought this upon yourself, gotcha. He knew he did. Mm, yeah, here yeah. you go. There already... he's doing it. Is he not gonna have the power anymore though? Like of the suit? But then how can Mark free him? None of the other gods even listened. You get it? Come on. She got it. 29 degrees north, 25 east. Mmm. Oh. So how would you go about freeing him? Yeah. Just breaking that little statue? <laughs> now, he's tethered to this place. Like many before him. Many before him? Can he hear us? Oh, you want to gloat? I so, yes. I enjoy it. Dealing out pain on your behalf, that is the greatest sin I carry. I am grateful. Had you not broken me so completely, I might never have known the value of healing. Your torment forged me. I owe my victory to you. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Arthur. It's getting really good. It really is. Ethan Hawke is doing a really uh -huh. good job, but like... I guess that's why. That's I, why I'm so upset with Arthur right now. <laughs> He's playing him so well. I know he just pissed me off, especially like he just. I wouldn't say he. I mean, there was a little gloaty right there. What what he told him there, but just before that, when he like was in like the the pyramid and he was just kind of saying like, oh, you know, he's he's using a broken man. Mm -hmm. um, he has gone insane himself. I was just getting so freaking angry, but. You know, he did drop some stuff in front of Layla and Mark about the possibility. Well, I mean, we kind of are reading between the lines mm -hmm. that he might be alluding to the fact that Mark may have killed Layla's father. Yeah, that would be a crazy thing if that's the case. And then also if Mark is like just lying about it continuously, I don't know. It's... Yeah, I mean, that could be the incident that mm -hmm. like, I guess, made Steven be able to come back out because he said he had it under control yeah. meaning like you know he had dealt with this before at least that's what I think um, and then he also said I forgot it was in the last episode of the first episode where he mentioned about how um, it wasn't what you had thought like mm -hmm. about why he had killed the people in Egypt yeah. you know at first I was giving him the benefit of the doubt and thinking okay well what was the incident it seems as though her father was involved with like you know procuring yeah. like items as well I uh, I wonder what that could have been I know Mark told her that you know he's he's just trying to Arthur's just trying to divide them but I kind of feel like there's some truth to that yeah so I feel like in the following episodes we're going to have to eventually break Conchu out but as of right now we have the location to Amit's tomb mm -hmm. um, Mark and Layla do Mark Steven and Layla now mm -hmm. I guess we're gonna have to see if they can get there before Arthur eventually mm -hmm. does yeah, and now it seems like they might not even have like the power of uh, yeah. Moon Knight or Mr. Knight <laughs> yeah. So I don't really know what they're gonna be able to do here. I I have to imagine that they're gonna have to be able to get that power back before like the end like mm. I imagine there's gonna be a big you know climax of fight probably between him and Arthur or maybe him and Amit <laughs> like mm. who knows what could happen man I don't even know like do you just break the statue what gets him back yeah. it seems as though Mark might know because he obviously told Steven like you know mm. tell him to to break me free which you said earlier this episode is probably the best mm -hmm. of the series so far really, really and good. this show is so damn good I'm yeah. really enjoying it all right well if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe the bell so you can stay notified for our future videos. Also, head over to our Patreon if you want to watch our full-length reaction to the series. We upload them over there. The link's down in the description below. Okay, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.